So what is up, Dream Team? So <clears throat> I have to remove some of the eggs that just didn't make it. And uh, I'll show you guys what I do. Um, so I've got some tweezers here. A little turkey base. And uh, go ahead and just start pulling some of these guys out. And you can tell the cloudy white ones. Are the ones that you're going to have to remove. Thought I sucked one up, but it's just a little bit of um, I don't know what it is. Could be from the driftwood that's in there.
and I'm just going over the the eggs there and just kind of removing some of that um, that membrane that the oxalotos lay the eggs together with it's pretty sticky just careful don't feel rushed through it it's actually uh, kind of peaceful Yeah, we got a couple babies moving in there now. So. Out of their uh, shell. Seems like we got a lot of that pretty good. And again, I'm just kind of going over the some of the dirty eggs here and just kind of cleaning off some of that stuff that's on it. Just sucking up some of that stuff that accumulates over it. Another one here that didn't fully develop. If you can see it, it's kind of cloudy. It's just so. Just take those babies out. And again, I'm learning here as we go. So uh, any advice, anything is appreciated. See, that was a, a neg there that didn't develop and it was just blank. So I uh, was able to pop it and I'm kind of going over the egg, just kind of removing some of that membrane and picking up whatever is in the egg. Yeah, but quite a bit of them seem like they've got life in it. There's a little bit more still. I'm just able to pull it off. And also what I've been doing is just kind of moving the not the eggs, but the uh, the air stone. I'll move it from spot to spot to kind of help. I don't. I mean, like I said, I'm just learning here. But to me, it seemed like it helped move a lot of the eggs and just kind of. And I know they need it in nature, you know. So I kind of try to give it that effect. But again. This is all just theory. Pop those over here. It popped, but you see, I'm just going back in there and sucking it up with this turkey baster.
And see a lot of that is just kind of did it it just didn't develop well might seem like I'm being a little aggressive but it's kind of interesting to see how uh, well protected these eggs are and how that membrane just keeps them together like I said I know in nature they they have running water like that it helps ventilate the eggs and kind of keep them healthy so uh like I'm gonna have to put some more water in this some of the eggs are starting to kind of float up thankfully thankfully I picked up some more water today so This one's clear. This one didn't, it didn't even uh, make anything. This wasn't planned, so we just kind of had to improvise and uh, adjust. Again, nothing. I'm 
this one just kind of made a little dot but he didn't really fully develop this one here is empty as well now this is the second time I've done this um, This is the second time I've done it in about, you see this is why the pliers are good here, because then it'll help. Oh. There's a lot of membrane just kind of glued up together over here. So I kind of just, I don't know, I'm thinking it's helping the babies at least, the, at least it'll kind of help them kind of, I don't know, reproduce a little healthier, I guess, or something. See how they kind of start building like a white fuzz? up one day and all of a sudden I was a grandparent so here I am taking care of the grandkids Bend out and just make sure <laughs> that you're not sucking up any babies.
good bit. We got one right here that we gotta take out. See, I've noticed when they uh, when they kind of grow in bunches like that, they don't really develop. So I think that's you know a good idea to have moving water, not necessarily moving water, but you know I had a stone and I just kept moving it from place to place. Just to kind of help vent the babies. This guy's got very much. Ventilation through there. So they kind of just. Develop like this. And then they grow in bunches like that. Kind of noticed it. Like I said, this is the second time I've done it, so. I know, I didn't record the first time. Actually, I believe I did. I might just post that too. And I could tell there's one egg here that doesn't even have anything in it. It's just a complete blank. bubble in there stuck in the membrane that's funny all right seems like that it <laughs> that one just popped and uh, out went the little oxalotl hey, I'm telling you it's kind of I think it's a good idea to have him yeah like I said I just moved this stone from place to place. Oh, it's not even connected right now. Let's see. I'll just kind of move it from here to here. From here. Maybe I'll set it here to help some of this because it seemed like a good bunch was around there. Just to kind of vent them a little bit.
And I'll just move it from place to place. So, so I'm gonna leave it right here for right now. <laughs> I don't think I like it like just completely blowing the fish all the time, but just near like that I think is good. Again, this is all in theory. So, if you know, let me know. Let us know. No. I think that'll be alright. Alright. Gotta fill this up this baby up a little bit more.